Welcome back here once again. We're looking at our idler wheels on our Chinese skid steer. And uh, I've got about 20 more hours on it. It seems like every 20 hours, it's a good idea to take these idler wheels apart and check them. So uh, if you watch my other videos, uh, we tried the grease nipple. So you can see here how the grease nipple just sheared off. And, you know, thanks for the comments. You know, a lot of guys had some good ideas. Uh, some guys are pointing out how I was incorrectly doing my repacking the bearings. And, um, you know, so I do appreciate the comments, good or bad. Um, anyway, one of the comments was greasing the, uh, put a grease nipple on the idler wheel, but that doesn't work. Uh, some of the other comments were putting shields around to prevent the rocks because the rocks are getting in here and damaging the seal and uh, dirt's getting in the bearing and doesn't matter, you know, how they're packed. Um, you know, the dirt gets in there, it's going to damage them. The new wheel I bought, and I bought it as a complete assembly, the same thing happened. It, it lasted roughly 20 hours um and i did take it apart and just added grease but anyway i don't i don't think that's the problem how to prevent rocks from getting in there um difficult to put a kind of a rock shield around maybe that's the answer i'm gonna see maybe look at doing that something to to help that um, if you're using it for something that doesn't have a lot of rocky soil, then you're not going to have a problem. Um, as you can see, I already got my rubber gloves on, knowing what's going to happen. So I've got 92.7 hours on the machine. And uh, again, I did this about 20 hours uh, ago. So there's, I got three, four videos. You can go back and watch those and shows the different stages I've gone through. Anyway, here's, you know, I got a spare now. I've repacked the, the bearings. I used the proper pulley. I didn't use the hammer like in one of my first videos. I put a grease nipple on it. Um, but, you know, if you watch my other video, videos, you, you, you squirt too much grease in here and it just forces the seal out. So that didn't really work. So what I'm gonna try this time, is I'm going to go with the roller bearing. I'll put a picture of my order on Amazon. And the number of these, the same shaft size, outer dimensions, all that, it's 6205-2RS. And my thinking on this is that the seal dirt gets in past the seal, it's, it's less chance it's going to get past the seal of these ball bearings. And it's going to last longer just because you're not going to get dirt and crap in there. Um, if you look at the uh, Wikipedia on what a roller bearing will do versus the other bearings that I have on here that it came with, um, you know, they're meant for higher speed, you know, like cars have them that type of bearing. Um, the roller bearing's not really meant for that, you know, axial type forces that are put on it. So maybe that'll damage them just because there is a lot of force when you're, you know, turning the skid steer. But, you know, I'm on an experimental um, journey here to just try different things, see if we can, you know, extend the life out of these, these idler uh, wheels because that seems to be the weak link with my machine. You know, I've had some other problems, uh, like I, I said in other videos, my starter is intermittent, but it's not really that big a deal. I just, you know, pull start it because it has the, uh, the a pull start. Um, so everything else has been working pretty good. It's just these roller bearings or these idler wheels have been, you know, my nemesis. Um, so hopefully, you know, I'm, I'm going to find a solution here that, you know, everyone can use. Um, so I'm going to be 
the guinea pig here and just try different things and hopefully find a solution to make these machines um, you know more reliable but for me at 92 hours I paid for this machine I paid $6,500 Canadian and you know I've seen we get them cheaper in, in the US you know at auction um, you don't have to put many hours on for them to pay for themselves and at the end of this video I have um, a little clip of me using it uh, to fill in a trench that I had dug got down as deep as I could caught a couple feet with this machine and dug it by hand uh, but I just got a clip of me filling the trench back in so I'll play it at the end of this anyway I'm going to take these apart uh, the one roller it's pretty loose the, the one that doesn't have the crease nipple on it so I'm sure the bearing is is kind of messed and this one it's actually it's snug it's tight this is the one with the grease nipple um, and I never greased it the whole time because after the first little bit of use the, the grease nipple got sheared off so I never even had a chance to add grease on it because you know rock just took the end of it off so I'll just I'll start the camera and I'll, I'll just take it apart don't waste your time with that Okay, I uh, just got the, the seals off, but you can see this one, this doesn't look too bad. Not a lot of crud in there. That's the one with the crease nipple. So that one's not too bad, but the one that's a little more wobbly, you can see it's just full of dirt. So that's what's killing the bearing, you know, kill any, any bearing. So anyway, I'll just take this apart. I'll have to replace both seals because you can see this one is, you know, the shadow. You know, it's ruined the seal, so dirt's going to get in there. So I'll, I'll put new seals in everywhere. But I'm going to put the ball bearings in and uh, we'll try that. But um, some of the comments were, you know, does it sit in here tight? Yeah, the, these bearings are in tight with this the C clamp, and the new ones the same dimensions. So the the both new ball bearings it should sit, you know, tight in there. There shouldn't be any slop, you know, back and forth. So that should be good. That will help with the side to side forces, and you know, just try it, and I'll let you know if it, it helps. If they crater in ten hours or the twenty hours that I seem to be going. Um, Whatever, then you guys will know. Anyway, I'm going to uh, just take this apart, clean it up, and I'll bore you with that again, and I'll come back on here when I got that done. Okay, guys, I got the bearings in. Everything fits, except it is skinnier than the other bearings. Um, yeah, I didn't really measure that. Part of it so what I'm gonna have to do is get some washers to build it up so that the C clamp clamp is tight and uh, it looks like about a quarter inch I would say 3 16 so what I'm gonna do is just go down and get some bearing I mean washers and just build it up so I see if I can get it the right thickness and then I'll put it together so I haven't put a video for a while I've been kind of busy so what I'm going to do is just get the washers put it together put it on start getting some hours on it again and then I'll let you know how it how it lasts but the the number I gave you it fits um, other than they're you know a little skinnier so again the number I bought them on Amazon they weren't that expensive but I'll just give you that number again off the, the bearing. And get the spectacles on. 6205-2RS. So I don't know if you can buy a thicker one that would, you know, do the job without washers. But should be able to get a washer, you know, around this size. Um, it doesn't have to fit perfect as long as it takes up most of the slack so the the wheel isn't moving side to side um yeah 
So that's what I'm going to do. I'll wrap this video up. I'll get this done, like I said, and uh, then I'll do another video and let you know if it if it's a successful experiment or if it's something don't waste your time with. Um, and again, just I got a little clip at the end here showing the machine at work. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for the comments. Some are really helpful, some not so much, but that's the way it goes. Uh, take the good with the bad. But I do appreciate all the, the, the comments and, and uh, the guys who've recently subscribed and all that good stuff. So again, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.